Dear students, in this video, we will solve examples of practice set 9.1 from the chapter Discount and Commission. Before we proceed for the examples, let us learn some term related to discount and commission. Dear students, you may have seen the advertisements such as monsoon sale, summer sale, up to 50% discount, up to 60% discount or different schemes in the form of the goods are said in the form of discount. In such sales, the discount is offered on various goods. So this discount when while selling an object, the actual amount by which the shopkeeper reduced the mark, reduce the mark price is called as discount. So the mark price, what is this mark price? Each item to be sold in the shop has a price tag on it. It has a price tag on it. The price tag, that tag is called as mark price. That ta tag is called as mark price. And shopkeeper offer discount on mark price and he sell the goods. So selling price is the given by the formula. The important formula we are going to use. So selling price is equal to mark price minus discount and if the percent is a discount is in the form of percentage then the formula is x upon 100 is equal to discount upon mark price therefore discount is equal to cross multiply then discount is equal to mark price into x upon 100 so these two formulas we are going to use to solve the examples of practice set 9.1 First example, if mark price is equal to 1700 and selling price is 1540, then find the discount. So we know the formula, discount is equal to mark price, mark price minus selling price. Therefore, discount is equal to mark price is equal to 1700 minus 1540. Subtract this 0 minus 0, 10 minus 4, 6, 6 minus 5 is 1. So, rupees 160 is the discount. Second example, if mark price of an article is 990 rupees and the percent of discount only here discount is given in the form of percentage that is 10 percent then find the selling price so what is given here mark price is equal to 990 discount is 10 percent find the selling price as discount is given in the percentage so let us assume the discount be x rupees therefore we have the formula discount percentage upon 100 is equal to discount upon mark price. So discount percentage B1 as 10. 10 upon 100 is equal to discount which we assume is X. X upon mark price is equal to 990. So substituting the value in the formula. So cross multiply here. X into 100 is equal to 10 into 990 therefore x is equal to 10 into 990 upon 100 0 0 can cancel from numerator and denominator 2 zeros from the numerator 2 zeros from the denominator 1 into 99 which is equal to 99 rupees so discount is equal to discount is equal to rupees 99 now we know the formula selling price of an article SP is equal to mark price minus discount. So therefore selling price is equal to mark price is equal to 990, 990 minus 99 that is S selling price is equal to 10 minus 9 is 1, 18 minus 9 is 
एट हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी वन रुपीज इज द सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ एन आर्टिकल थर्ड एग्जाम्पल इफ द सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ एन आर्टिकल इज नाइन हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड डिस्काउंट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ परसेंटेज इट इज गिवन ट्वेंटी परसेंट देन वी हैव टू फाइंड द मार्क प्राइस नोट इज अचीव दैट मार्क प्राइस ऑफ एन आर्टिकल बी हंड्रेड रुपीज सो इफ डिस्काउंट इज गिवन ट्वेंटी परसेंट on 100 rupees so discount is 20 rupees on 100 so the selling price for 100 rupees will be mark price that is 100 minus 20 which is equal to 80 rupees so if selling price is 80 when mark price is 100 let us assume that the mark price be x which is to be sold for 900 rupees so mark price of an article be x rupees which is to sold to be for 100 rupees so here mark price and selling price when mark price is 100 selling price is 80 so we have to find mark price when the selling price is 900 rupees so here we will do the cross multiplication therefore 80 into x is equal to 100 into 900 Therefore, x is equal to hundred into nine hundred upon eighty zero zero cancel. So, four two is eight. Four two is eight. Four two is eight to carry four five is twenty. Two one is two. Two four is one carry two five is so x is equal to. 25 into 45. So x is equal to 25 into 45 is rupees 1000 to 125 rupees. Therefore, mark price of an article is mark price is equal to rupees 1125. Fourth example, the mark price of a fan is rupees 3000. And shopkeeper gave twelve percent discount on that fan. So find the total discount and selling price of the fan. So the given thing is mark price is three thousand and discount is twelve percent. So first we will find the discount. So discount is equal to discount given by the shopkeeper is equal to twelve percent of The mark price, twelve percent of the mark price. Therefore, twelve percent is twelve upon hundred into the mark price is three thousand. So two zeros from numerator, two zeros from denominator will get cancelled. So which is equal to twelve into thirty, which is equal to twelve three zero thirty six three hundred and sixty rupees is the discount. Now we will find the selling price of the So selling price is given by the formula mark price minus discount discount so which is equal to mark price of the fan is three thousand minus three hundred and sixty which is equal to zero minus zero ten minus six four nine minus three six that is selling price of the fan is So answer selling price of fan is rupees two thousand six hundred and forty rupees. Sixth example: A shopkeeper gave eleven percent discount on television set. Hence, the cost of it is. After giving discount, the cost of that television is twenty-two thousand two hundred and fifty. Then find the mark price on the television set. We have to find what was the mark price of the television set. So the given part is selling price is equal to twenty-two thousand two hundred and fifty, and discount is eleven percent. So let us assume that if the mark price is hundred, so hundred rupees, then the selling price will be of that. Television set will be hundred minus eleven. That is eighty nine rupees. 
So if television set mark price on the television set is X rupees, when the selling price is twenty two thousand two hundred and fifty. So here, if mark price in the form of percentage is hundred, then selling price is eighty nine rupees, and if the selling price is let us assume that selling price is let us assume that mark price is x so selling price is given at 22450 so you have to do the cross multiplication x into 89 is equal to 100 into 22250 therefore x is equal to 100 into 22250 divided by 89 divide 2000 22,250 by 89, you will get 250. After dividing, so 100 into 250 is equal to 25,000. So answer the mark price. Mark price on television set is rupees 25,000. at example a shopkeeper decides to sell a certain items at a certain price he taxes the price on the item by increasing the decided price by 25% while selling those items he offers 20% discount find how many more or less percent he gets on decided price so let us assume that decided price Of that item be rupees hundred, so he tax the item by increasing decided price by twenty five percent. So mark price on that item will be hundred rupees plus twenty five percent. That is twenty five rupees. That is hundred and twenty five. So discount he give on that item is twenty percent. So discount is equal to twenty percent on the mark price. Therefore, discount is equal to twenty percent twenty upon hundred into mark price is equal to hundred and twenty five. So divide your zero zero cancel. Five two zero ten. Five two zero ten. Five five zero twenty five. Two one zero two one zero, which is equal to rupees twenty five one zero. Twenty-five rupees is the discount. So selling price of the article will be mark price minus discount. So mark price is hundred, hundred and mark price of the article is one twenty-five, one hundred and twenty-five minus twenty-five, which is equal to hundred rupees. So so selling price of that item is same as the decided price by that shopkeeper. So here, the shopkeeper they gets shopkeeper gets zero percent. Shopkeeper gets zero percent on decided price. So there is no loss or no profit in this example.